to show y'all and do a get ready with me because I've not done one in a while. But this is my new Christmas present. Say, my name is Stormy Jean. Oh, you're such a baby. Look at it. Yeah, she's a sweet little baby. She's 10 weeks old. And full of energy that I wish I had. But anyway, let's do it. Get ready with me and have a chit chat. She got in a box, can't get out. Well, it's been a good weekend. I didn't do much. We got our tree put up. Let me show you our tree. Real quick. It's dark in here. See our tree? And this is our mantle. My sister-in-law makes the snowmen. La, 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 la. And I made this this weekend. And it has a flameless candle in it from a Dollar Tree. All that stuff came from a Dollar Tree. But I wanted to show y'all my Christmas stuff. Maybe I can do a video of what we've got outside later. Sometime. But anyway... I feel today, today's Monday, of course I'm going to feel that way. Uh, colored my hair. It's a little blonde today. Let's see. This, I can't really do anything with. There, maybe that'll work. Anyway, I went to a Dollar Tree last week looking for a new makeup everybody's hauling. Well, no luck. So, I guess I keep looking. I did a Dollar Tree haul. Michael's had a 70% off sale. I really didn't get much there either. What I did get was mainly on sale i got some clearance stuff for like pocket letters and flip books that i do exchanges and stuff on facebook with but other than that nah today feels like it might be a blah day for me i don't like blah days I don't know where to wear the Ame or the Cover Girl. Well, the Cover Girl, I don't know, it's a little light, but how about powder instead? Y'all know I'm in love with this. I gotta do a little Christmas shopping online. Christmas shopping is so hard when you don't know what somebody really likes or even really needs or even really wants which I know what most of my family likes and Chris's family because I'm around them all the time I know what my sisters and my brother like, but I don't know what to do. It's hard to, I think, this is my opinion, Christmas is very, not overrated, but 
I think during this time of year, people forget the real meaning of Christmas. It's all about the money and the shopping and, you know, oh, what am I going to buy this one? And what am I going to buy that one? Oh, I bought this for this one last year and this year, you know, it's all about money and spending money and worrying about what you're going to get somebody. Well, I don't stress over it no more. We just do what we do, right? But, you want people to be happy with what you get them. I just don't like the monetization and all that, having to worry about what to buy somebody. This is my eyebrow gunk, I call it. I don't know. I've been using, I broke my elf bronzer and couldn't use it. So, I've been using this Maybelline Lush. My sister gave me. She didn't like it. Rose blush. It's blush, but you can use I've been using it for a bronzer, too. Y'all got your Christmas shopping done? I've been making stuff. Not for Christmas presents, but... You know. We finally got our tree put up last night. My youngin came and helped. Her and her girlfriend. So, I got that done. Uh, what else? Oh, we went to Valley Forge Wholesale and Auction again Saturday. My sister-in-law had never been. It's in Elizabethan. And they had a lot of Christmas stuff out. They had, man, the place was booming. It was slamming busy. The people that own it and run it, are really really good people real nice people they're just so nice down to earth oh this is my eyelid primer i like it i guess i don't wear makeup like people on youtube i've seen what you know do makeup but i like what i like you won't find anybody more down to earth and honest than I am. I put this on over it. It's Milani. I got hit at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. Lily White. Uh, I've not seen any Milani at Dollar Tree in God forever. Used to see it there all the time. But it's been a long time. Eyebrow brush. I gotta order me or get me another one. See? So, eyebrow wax. But you, I don't ever see Milani at Dollar Tree anymore. They must be slipping. But the Valley Forge wholesale and auction. I don't know when they have auctions, but that's the name of it. They do auctions, I guess, car auctions or whatever. I love going there. They have good stuff. Cheap. We got a whole box. Whole box. Uh, never opened. Oreo double stuff vanilla Oreos for three bucks. There's ten packs in each box, which we only got one box. Three dollars. And there's ten cookies or eight cookies in each box. But for three bucks. For 10 packs of cookies, vanilla 
Oreo double stuffs? Yeah. I'm no good at my eyebrows, just so y'all know. I just feel so tired. I had a migraine, constant migraine and headache all day Friday and Saturday. It like drained all my energy. And then I got Susie and Jesse and they put up the Christmas tree and well, kinda. Chris did more of it and I helped. I don't like putting up a tree. It's too much like work. But I guess if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't put one up. And I'm not a Scrooge, but I sure sound like one. I just don't like to fool with it. Since my kids are grown, my grandkids ain't never here because they're, you know, that's another story in itself. But since they're not here, my kids are grown and away from home. What's the point? I'm not a Scrooge. Hubby says I'm a Scrooge. But I don't try to be a Scrooge. All I can say is bye humbug. Hey, okay. I just don't like to build the Christmas tree, I guess. I never did care a lot for putting a tree up. That's why I always let my... My girls put it up when I wasn't married. Because I just didn't like dealing with the Christmas tree. I guess when you get older, things change. The way you feel about things change. It's Christmas just, and that, you know, Christmas used to be really exciting to me. You know, because my girls was little and, of course, still at home. and I worked all the time and took care of them. But the kids grow up and they leave home and things just ain't the same. And then my grandkids ain't around no more because they're, you know, M.I.A. Which, from what I hear, they're doing good. From what I see, they're doing real good. They're with some excellent people that, you know, love them and take care of them and can provide for them. So, I get kind of depressed, I guess, around the holidays because mom's passed away six months over, well, almost seven years ago, and daddy's been gone. 19 years and it's just not the same you know and then i married chris and his family's all into the holidays and you know i get to see my family and stuff and i talk to my sisters pretty much every night but when you lose your parents You know, when Daddy passed away, that was really tough. You know, I was 29 when Daddy died. Susie was eight months old. That's how I can keep up with it, so she's 19 now. But... When Daddy passed away, that was one of the toughest times. When my mamma died, that was tough, you know. But then, Daddy died 19 years ago. Mom's been dead six and over almost seven. So they died like 12, 13 years apart. But, that still don't make it easy. When you lose a parent, or parents, or a sibling, which... Thank the Lord I've not lost one of my full siblings, but I've lost two half-sisters. It's hard. But losing your parents, that's one of the hardest things I ever have to deal with. 
you know, when I when Daddy passed away, that was tough. Wow, the dryer stopped. That was really tough. But when my mom passed away, that was the hardest time I'd pretty much ever had in my life. I've been through four divorces. Wasn't every one of them hard. Aggravating because the ex-husband to be didn't want to sign the papers being such a deal hole. But second hubby wanted custody of Susie and I said no. So that was, it wasn't hard. Divorcing either, nor anybody, neither one of my exes was hard. But my point is, what I'm trying to say is, losing my mom crushed me. And it's hard getting into the spirit of the holidays. I guess you have to make yourself or you can't let yourself get down. You can't let yourself get down in the dumps. You know. I've had some very traumatizing events happen in my life. From the time I was, the first event was 17. Something happened that traumatized me. Then, but I can't let that, I don't let that run my life, you know. And then, uh, things happened, moved on, divorces didn't traumatize me. Something happened to Chris, I think I would just have to be buried because I love him love my husband do anything in the world for my husband but the worst thing I see when I lost my mom then a few years later I lost my grand youngins And then, it's just hard for me to get into the spirit of things. And then, I've had a few traumatizing events happen in my life. But I don't let that run my life. I don't let that, you know, kind of, what would you say? Be who, make me be who I am. It don't hurt my personality, you know, and stuff, but it is what it is. You just have to move on, which I have from 99% of it. There's still that 1% that you miss the people in your life that you love that's passed on or whatever, but. I guess I let, it's hard for me to get in the Christmas spirit is my point. I can't let it determine who I am and make me who I am. I am who I am. I had a rough life, but I always provided for my kids. There for a while I worked two jobs. When I met Chris, I worked two jobs. Had one day off a week, but that's okay. It helped me provide for my girls. My girls is all that ever mattered to me in my life as far as motivation to work and uh, get things done. But I didn't do this video to get you all depressed. I just wanted to say Merry Christmas and to see how everybody was and do a get ready with me. So I hope everybody has a good week. Much love. Bye -bye. Oh, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'll link the video in, I think it's up here.
So, or put it in the description box below. Much love.